as you probably heard by now, have a little bit of snow on the way. Certainly not the biggest storm we've ever seen. That could cause some travel problems, especially yet towards Saturday when you're heading out to do that last minute Christmas shopping. And as far as uh, impacting travel this uh, weekend, again, the purple areas, those are all winter weather advisors, not anticipating a ton of snow out of this. It should be a fairly quick mover, not a ton of moisture associated with it, but it will be enough to cause some problems on the roads, snow covered, slick roads. You all know the routine pretty much, especially during the morning hours. It should begin to taper off from north to south as we go through the uh, evening hours. By Sunday, it should be all gone. As far as how much snow we're going to get, again, the highest areas, basically the northerly upslope areas, basically Riverton Land or over toward Casper, generally three to six, four to six inches there. More across the mountains, obviously. Also, Thermopolis could see three to six inches out of this. And the least amounts at this point looks like up across the northeastern Bighorn Basin, say around the Grable area. Jackson only expecting an inch or two. And across the I-80, not much snow there, but it could uh, fall at night and cause some icy roads, especially Saturday evening into Saturday night, so watch out for that. As far as time and maximum impacts, again, Western Mountains, mainly late tonight into the morning hours, improving in the afternoon. Pretty much all day across most areas east of the divide and also north of the Wind River Range. Uh, worst conditions there probably during the morning hours. It should improve again from uh, north to south as we head toward the afternoon into the evening hours. And down across I-80, mainly uh, in Saturday evening, again, not only about an inch or two down there, but it could cause some slick roads, especially if you have a flash freeze down there. As far as resources, I'm not going to read all these. I'm not going to bore you with that. To get weather, go to our website, road conditions, wildroad.info. You can call those numbers there. Also, webcams by route, go to weather.gov. And also, uh, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and also where this video is on YouTube. Have a good uh, evening, everybody, and have a safe weekend.